in Onshape, you can add custom features to your part studio. All features in Onshape are written in a programming language called FeatureScript. For example, if I click on the extrude command, this opens up the dialog box for creating an extrude. And again, this was written in FeatureScript. Let me cancel out of here. You can write your own custom features in a feature studio. If you click on the plus sign at the bottom left hand corner of the screen, the one that you use for creating new part studios or creating new assemblies, there is an option in here for creating a feature studio. And this enables you to create your own custom features. But you can also add custom features that other people have written if you have access to them. For example, let me go back to the icon over here for adding a custom feature. And when you click on it, it opens up a dialog box where you could select custom features from your current document. If you have any custom features, or you can choose from other documents. For example, if you know the URL where a custom feature is, you can type that in here. You also have other different choices, but like going to public ones, you go back to the home. We have other options in here like shared with me, created by me, recently opened. Here's for my own organization. There's community spotlight. And so there are a bunch of different ones that have been featured in here. And let me go back to the home. There are also the feature script samples. And so some of these deal with things like patterns. If we scroll down, you can see that there's a custom belt feature. Here we have, let's see, a 3D sketch fillet. But let's go back up here. Let's throw in the one for the polyhedron. And I will click on that. And here we have from this particular feature studio. Here is the feature. I will click on it. And now it has been added to my toolbar from the published version V4. Let me close the Add Custom Features dialog box. Now when I go to this dropdown, here is the polyhedron command. And so when I click on it, it opens up the dialog box for this polyhedron feature. You can see a preview of the geometry that would be created. And so this is a great way of saving yourself time and effort if you're creating the same kind of stuff over and over again. And in this case, someone was creating a lot of polyhedrons. And so in the dialog box, we can change different values like the number of sides per face. For example, if I try to enter in a value of four, hey, we end up with a cube. Here we have the edge length. I'm gonna type in a value of 50, just to make it bigger on the screen. You also have the ability, let's see, let's try changing the sides per face to three instead. And now we have our tetrahedron. And if you try to enter in a value here, there is some error checking. So for example, if I try to type in six, hey, it is not going to let me do that. Here we have a tool tip to enter a value between two and five. And so you'll notice that you can actually enter in fractions or decimals. So for example, if I try 2.5 and here's, or that's faces per vertex. Hold on, let me change this one. Let's change this back to three. Let's change the sides per face to 2.5. And so there you see what that one looks like with three faces per vertex. You can try in some other different numbers for faces per vertex. That oh, doesn't like that one. And there we go, five works in there. But let's go back to something. Let's go back to what we had initially. Let's try five sides per face and then three faces per vertex. And so there we have our feature. It's also a drop down list. You can see that someone added programming for where you can have it not truncated. That's the default, uniform truncated, and some other different options for locating it. Here it's at the center point. So, for example, you know, I can explicitly set that it should be at the vertex. But anyhow, you get the idea that you can write your own custom features in order to save yourself time and effort or you can add some other different custom features. And so, let me hit the keyboard shortcut P. That is one of the benefits of Onshape, taking advantage of FeatureScript for adding your own features to the software.